By their very nature, games are designed to be fun, but they can also be educational. Here at the University of Wisconsin, researchers are looking into games, and in particular, online multiplayer games, as a learning tool. And we're really interested in uh, gaming technologies and how they're affecting learning and then society. So we look at everything from what people are doing online, how they're playing games, how they're interacting differently. And then we look into also designing new kinds of learning environments based on those findings. Part of it is, number one, sort of really interrogating the notion that learning should only be in classrooms and only in formal environments. And we tend to think of learning and play only for young children, when in fact play is this vital component of learning for adults and young adults as well. So part of it is sort of letting play be part of our everyday life and thinking about learning as, as part of a play space. Now what's interesting is that um, that's really sort of come about because of digital technology. So um, because of internet culture, because of Facebook, because of online games, etc., it turns out that people use internet uh, mainly for their hobby spaces, their passion topics, and for play. For my generation, there's this notion of having real friends versus virtual friends and real sort of interactions versus virtual interactions. And yet for many kids these days, your friends are so mobile as well as your own family, including family breakups, family makeups, that um, your friends shift from being face-to-face -face friends to online friends and back again. The other issue is, is space, and that's that one thing that really strikes me in studying, I, I, I study teenagers and young adults, and that's that when I grew up, we had a field to play in, we had parks that we would play in, and our parents would send us out and tell us, don't come back in until the pole lights come on, meaning until it's dark enough to where the street lights come on, you stay outside and play. Well, for many children now and young adults, that is not possible. There is no open green space to play in. But what happens is that the online world becomes the new play world. So it becomes where you get to socialize. So what they're doing in Facebook, it's not trivial. They're actually doing all that kind of social negotiation. They're learning social roles. They're, they're actually doing the kind of, of growing up socially that we did playing kick the can in the streets. But because they're not given that space to play in, instead they log into Facebook and they hang out online. Within the last 10 years, the move in the United States toward federal control, toward standardization, has meant that these sort of new diverse things have been locked out of classrooms, and they've really pinned down to trying to do what works um, according to research that's 10, 20, 30 years old. What's happening with digital technology in classrooms is so woefully behind the times that if you want to actually know the potential of technology, you have to look instead at play spaces. So uh, aspects of like video game culture are really these productive kind of fandom worlds in which kids are generating immense amounts of knowledge. And what's interesting, like in some of our work, we're showing that Kids are doing forms of reading and writing and science work and mathematizing the world that we say we want to happen in classrooms. And yet, ironically, we, we firewall them out of being in classrooms. 99% of our classrooms are wired, but that does not mean that teachers have computers that work, computers that are supported, um, the right applications, etc. For my generation, going online was a really big thing. Now, I remember um, an interview that I've had with some kids really uh, brought this into contrast. I was talking with them about what games they play. They said, oh, I like to go home and I play dirt bikes and I play racing. And they're like, oh, really? So, you know, what game? Are you playing the Xbox? Like, no, we go home and play it on our bikes and we race. Because for them, you know, being online is something they do all the time. They, it's not, it wasn't quite as big. And, and the, uh, the interactivity of the real world was something they were very excited about. And so I think... Um, uh, so far, it looks like maybe the kids are all right. This is Guy Daniels for Connected States of America in Madison, Wisconsin.